This video is sponsored by McLady Nuggets, the ultimate vile tasting insects in breadcrumbs. Welcome to this update on South Key. It's currently February 2024 and in this video we're going to be taking a look at how the new towers are progressing. But before you get on to that, there's this something I've got to do and that is to return to Landmark Pinnacle, London's fourth tallest tower which has got cone MX32 eco disc lifts that go 6 minutes a second. Because when I was previously in Lambert Pinnacle, I went on top of the lifts, only got the floor 56, so I need to return to go on top of the tallest lifts in the tower, going all the way up to floor 75. These are some very nice lifts. Elevator F. Doors closing. Doors closing. Very fast in that one. Floor minus two. Doors opening. Doors closing. Elevator F going up. Doors closing. So lifts one's been slowed down. Booth terrace locked, however. Doors closed. Round's locked as well. <laughs> zero. Star. Star can't be locked. Floor zero does not exist. One. What's taking us down? What? Floor zero does not exist apparently. This one's been slowed down to about 5.5 meters a second and the other one's six. Don't know why I slow it down, it's an issue with it. So then, on those video clips I've just shown, notice lift Arizon was going at its full speed of 6 meters a second, yet it overtook the lift next to my one, meaning that that lift had been slowed down. Which seems to suggest there's some sort of issue, and also in the Landmark Pinnacle Residence Group, there's regularly people complaining about things going wrong with the lifts. And I'll notice that seems to be quite a consistent thing nowadays. Now, I often get told by various different people about problems they've got with their lifts, and in particular, a lot of people complain to me about Otis lifts, because Otis lifts nowadays are getting cheaper and cheaper. Every generation of Otis lifts, but they lower the build quality. Especially now, Otis are doing their latest version of a Gen 2, which they're calling a Gen 3 or Gen 360, whatever crappy name they've given it. Those things are not really much different to a Gen 2, apart from, yet again, they've made the lift even more flimsy. But anyway, as for this video, let's talk about Cone, as the Cone Eco Disc is the most widely installed lift in South Key. Now, back around 2015-2016 time, when Cone entered the new NMX era of lifts, which superseded the MX area with new updated designs of Eco Disc, these new designs were really good. But a few of the models didn't get a full new motor. Instead, they had the same motor, but a motor was made to be higher power. And at the time, I remember thinking, are Cone pushing their equipment too? far, especially on things like their 5000 kilogram eco disc. And on the MX20 lifts for the higher buildings, these previously went 2.5 meters a second and updated to going 3 meters a second. And the motor itself doesn't really look any different, so the motor seems to be the same but with a bigger fan on it and they've made it higher power. And it's now making me think, are Cone just pushing the equipment harder? Because that would not be good if they were. And other examples of this is the Cone MX18, which has different variants of, as the variant which is the same power as the MX20 
then it's the higher powered version and that used to go 3.5 meter a second but they've now increased the power of that to 4 meter a second then you've got the mx32 motor which is like two eco discs joined together that previously went around 5 meter a second and that got increased to 6 meter a second on the latest models and that's what landmark pinnacles got so it makes me think did cone push the lifts too hard is that why they've had to slow it down and is that why they're getting so many problems and i really don't know but the things that people are saying in the landmark pinnacle residence group suggests a lift seem to be breaking down very regularly So then, let's now leave Lamont Pinnacle and go along to the Sailmakers Tower. Now, if you remember my previous video with the YouTuber Shy in Urban Odyssey when I went in this tower, the lifts here are some Cone MX20 Plus that go 3 meters a second. Now, when I returned in February 2024, these lifts have been slowed down. It seems like there's been some severe problems with them, making them have to slow the lifts down for reliability reasons. That is not a good sign. Slow down, it's definitely slowed down. So it's three meters a second, that's not that's no way that's three. Slow it down. For fuck's sake. I slow down, it's definitely slowed down. So it's three meters a second, that's not that's no way that's three. Slow it down. For fuck's sake. I do wonder what the rear door does. First floor. Thirty fourth floor. It's a mortuary. <laughs> So then, let's now take a look at the new developments of South Key. And there's currently three new towers nearing completion. And those towers are Consort Place, one of my favourite towers, been up it loads of times and driven the crane loads of times up there. That is now almost finished being built, close to opening. Then you've got Mini SQP, the new tower next to the current SQP. And even though we call it Mini SQP, it's actually almost the same height as the main SQP. That's also nearing completion and all of the hoarding around the tower's coming down now. Imagine driving a crane. If you turn that, you're literally going to crash that straight into a building. And also you've got one Thames Key, which I've also driven the crane there as well because I've driven loads of cranes around South Key. And that is also nearing completion. So three new skyscrapers. So, what about the next series of skyscrapers going to be built in South Quay? Well, it seems like development has actually stalled because there's a lot of plots of land where the buildings have been demolished ready for a new skyscraper and they haven't yet started work on them. For example, there's this very large plot of land right over at the very west of South Quay, though this bit I think this counts as Canary Wharf rather than South Quay. That's been empty for quite a long time. Then you've got this plot of land next door to Pan Peninsula and South Quay Station. This has been empty for ages with loads of signs up at the new tower being built, yet they haven't yet started work. And then you've got this bit of land right next to Pan Peninsula and the Hilton Hotel. And this bit of land, no work's been going on here for a long time. So I just don't know what's happening here. Why haven't they started building the new skyscrapers? And then you've got these plots of land. The bit circular in blue is a plot of land next to the landmark Pinnacle Estate. That's been empty for ages and I think that's very close to being built on. And the building circled in red is next to Little Landmark and that is now being demolished. Possibly for a fourth building in the Landmark Pinnacle series which should be very nice and as well as that this building right next to the DLR tracks next to Wardian this has also now been pulled down and I reckon quite a few of those buildings around the area will also be pulled down because those are very small for the area and down about a third of a mile south of South Key is this huge empty bit of land and there's been quite a lot of planning issues with this this bit was meant to be built on years ago yet it's still empty so this really does suggest that the developments of South Key might be stalling and I hope not because I really want to see the new skyscrapers being built and it'd be such a shame if it did stall but it is starting to look that way it's a shame because not that long ago I was talking about how there's going to be twice as many skyscrapers in the next 10 years and maybe the skyscrapers will continue moving south until the whole island of dogs would be skyscrapers which would be really good but looks like there is a bit of a pause at the moment 
So then, I've done loads and loads of rooftops in South Key, such as going on the rooftop of Landmark Pinnacle, one of the best rooftops I've ever been on. But let's now go on to some more rooftops in South Key and take a look at a few of the rooms I haven't yet done. The first set of buildings I'm going to be taking a look at is these buildings, and notice the huge glass window near the top of the building. This building's got this weird cut out area, three floors high. I wonder what is there? Well, let's go into this building and take a look what is in this very weird area and the lifts in this building are Schindler 5500s but they only go 1.6 meters a second that's very slow for this building And the glass area of this building is the Winter Garden. It seems to be some sort of indoor garden area for the residents when it's too cold to go on the actual roof garden. Except nobody seems to be using it, making it like a wasted space in the building. It is so odd. Why have we got a little mezzanine bit over there? This is the weirdest thing I've seen in the building. You can go on the roof. To me it looks like there should be a swimming pool here. This should be the ideal location for a pool with stunning views across South Quay. Yet the space is not being used. It's very strange. So then we now go across this mini roof garden between the two parts of the building and then we go up to the main roof garden. Oh there's a camera there. Is that even real? No, no. That's weird. And from the main roof garden, we could go up to the rooftop. Then let's now take a ride on top of the Schindler 5500. This is slow, 31 floors. What? <laughs> It's so slow. I'll create a stop switch for accessing car top. Well, I didn't exactly obey that one. And now we go to the next tower in South Key. This is the mini Sailmakers Tower. So I've done the Sailmakers Tower many times, including driving a window cleaner at the Sailmakers Tower. However, I haven't yet done the mini version. It's pretty much the same thing, but slightly smaller. So let's go and take a look at it.
now night time. Yeah, guys, all the way down. That's harsh. Did you enjoy your harsh emergency yeah, yeah. stop? Did you control that manually? Yeah. I thought you were. Is that a nice harsh stop? Yeah, that was quite... And while we're on the roof, a resident spots us from another tower and reports us to the concierge. We then leave the roof. We then watch the concierge walk into a building trying to catch us. Concierge's not happy. <laughs> oh. He's coming! Yeah. He's coming for us! But we're not on the roof anymore! He did report us though. Yeah! <laughs> so we now go back to a tower we're at previously to take a look at how that rooftop looks at night time. Well shit is lift. This is actually pretty nice. Oh and we can look down on the other tower and see if Kotsi got on the roof. Waste of space, that thing. Then I now leave South Key and go across the water to Canada Water and I go to a brand new tower currently under construction. This tower is called the Founding and it's 123 meters high and it's got 35 floors. This is a typical height of a lot of towers nowadays because it's just within the limits of MRL lifts. And to be honest, I really feel like MRL lifts are being pushed and pushed with how high I can go. And to be honest, I feel MRL lifts is not good enough for a 120 meter tower. I feel they're really pushing them beyond their limits. But that's the way things are going nowadays. Things are being built to not as good spec as they should be. In my opinion, it should be a proper motoring for this height. But all the towers of this height nowadays don't have motorings anymore. Anyway, let's go and sneak into this tower. and I go across to the main tower itself. After climbing up loads and loads of stairs, I now arrive at a couple floors below the top. Let's take a look at the lifts. And the lifts are cone eco discs. So 
then I now continue up the stairs to the same floor the lifts are on. They are currently in the process of being installed. Mm. The governor on the tent rig, so you got there, that's been held up on your tent rig. And the governor is just tied on, look with that. Absal cable. That look, in swing the governor, look. Swingy governor. This <laughs> is so weird. Why have they just tied the governor up? <laughs> These lifts are currently on their temporary rigs. They haven't yet reached the stage where the motor has been installed so the lift is not yet suspended from its main cables. At the moment it's suspended from a temporary setup of this little winding motor connected to the beam atop the lift shaft. Look at that. That's your winch. I don't say it's going to be MRL. Oh, for fuck's sake. Look at that. That's all that's holding the lift up, is that? Not used to that. So then, let's now go out onto the rooftop. And there's a lot of noise on this rooftop. It seems like the decorative feature around the building doubles up as a noise making machine. All the time the wind's blowing on it, which is like most of the time considering how high it is, it makes a very loud noise. we now leave this building and we go and find another building and as it's currently night time and we're all tired and need to sleep we sneak into this next building and go to a brand new apartment this apartment has not yet been sold and it is a luxury modern apartment it is kitted out with all of the latest features this is the perfect place to sleep for the night Good night, you